This is Pinky. She's a Golden Guernsey goat. She's one of the three goats that we have and she is the goat that provides us with milk. Lots of milk. Huge amounts of milk. We're getting nearly three litres a day from her and we can't sell the milk until we've registered with environmental health so we have to use that milk up in some way ourselves so we have been making a huge amount of cheese recently I'm just about to milk her now but back in the kitchen I'm going to show you one of the recipes we use to make use of some of the cheese that we've been making and she loves ash leaves in the kitchen all that cheese we're going to use to make a cheese and duck egg flan aren't we? First job to do is to make the pastry we're going to make a short crust pastry 500 grams of plain flour 200 grams of butter and a pinch of salt into the blender and we're going to give it a whiz Normally when you make short crust pastry you add water to it, but we're not going to do that today, we're going to do something else. This is not milk, it's actually from milk, it is the whey that's left over from cheese making. So we've taken the curds off and we're left with the whey. And we have loads of this stuff and we put it into just about everything we can get away with. So we use it in baking bread, uh, we put it in the hen smash and so on. But, we're going to add this to the flour to make the pastry. Right, it's all formed into one big lump now, that's exactly what we're after. So we're going to take it out, wrap it in cling film for half an hour and leave it in the fridge. When I finished making the pastry a few minutes ago, I went over to check on my bees and one of them stung me right on the neck there. Looks like a vampire bite. Anyway, right, once we have the pastry in the fridge, we're going to make the custard that goes into the flan. So, six of our duck eggs. You can use hen eggs if you want to, but it's just that uh, we had lots of our duck eggs going spare. And some of our goat's milk, that's 200 mils, and this is the cottage cheese I made from Pinky's Milk yesterday, and we're going to put a dollop of that into the custard as well. pastry so we'll just so carefully put this into the flan pan like so we've now made up five flan dishes and as you can see we've added some tomatoes and peppers at this stage you can add in basically whatever vegetables you've got available such as mushrooms, peas and so on and these are now ready to have the custard poured into them. Well the flan's now ready to go into the oven at 180 degrees for about half an hour. Well the flans have had just over half an hour so we're just going to check to see how they're doing. Uh, 
And what we're looking to do is make sure that it's set in the middle and that has. So this is now ready to go for our dinner. Well the proof is always in the eating so here goes. Well, we made five flans. Still got two in the oven. Uh, so they'll be our dinner for the next few days. It's also helped us use up some of our glut of goat's cheese, goat's milk and eggs. <laughs>